Peeps, AK here, and on today's episode of Kit Lab, it's about to get popping like cork lids. If that isn't the biggest clue already, say no more. I'm gonna open the box and show you what's inside. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, the Adidas Predator Mania 2002 remake in the champagne colorway. This is absolutely mad. But before I go into the tech, I'm gonna talk to you about the history of the man behind this boot, Becca. Beckham! It's a beauty! 2002, Adidas gave birth to the Predator Mania, and in particular, the champagne colourway was given to Mr. David Beckham. Now, the England legend and Manchester United legend wore them in his last season at Old Trafford, and it was every kid's dream to grab a pair because of the fact that he had amazing set pieces and more deliveries than Postman Pat. And when I say every kid, even the likes of little AK here with his under 12 squad. I was too young then to know about the original Predator back in 1994, although Adidas's mission was to create a boot that generated more power, swerve and control, and it was inspired by a table tennis bat. The 1996 Predator Touch included the launch of the red elongated tongue, but for me, it seemed too heavy for a speed player. 1998 saw the Predator Accelerator released alongside the World Cup, with Zinedine Zidane performing very well, including two goals in the final and winning the tournament with France. The year 2000 saw the Predator Precision, which launched during the Euro Championships, with the likes of Zidane and Del Piero rocking them. But what really stood out for me and made me pay attention was when Bex scored that last minute free kick versus Greece, sending England through to the 2002 World Cup, then dropped the mania. Time to start with product tech talk and we're going to go into the upper immediately. You've got that recognizable creamy synthetic leather, um, again iconic from the 2002 Mania. Moving on, we've got the red tongue. Now, first and foremost, if you don't wear the tongue this low, then you're not wearing it right. So make sure you put that elastic band that you get to good use and have the tongue right down the center of the laces. Speaking of which, the laces themselves are asymmetrical, again, so offset, allowing for a greater surface area on the instep where you find the rubber accents for that swerve. Finally, we move on to the sole plate and Adidas have decided to bring the A17 sprint frame onto the Predator Mania. So we're mixing the old school with the new school and as you can see, it's got the conical studs and is lightweight, perfect for your centre midfielders. Guys, what I want to know from you is that do you think this is the best remake of an original boot? If it is, let me know in the comments below. And if not, what would be a better boot than this? Finally, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share, and we'll see you on the next episode of Kit Lab. I'm AK, peace. Ocean.